Hi, I'm Holly French and I am the GSK service delivery leader for EMEA. I've been with Perkin Elmer for nearly five years now um, and I've always been interested in science, engineering, figuring out how things work. As a kid I used to take things apart, try and put them back together again and I just found a real natural interest and passion in science and technology. Um, so I started off my career working at university um, as a, a laboratory manager um, and it was absolutely full of instruments that I would uh, take apart, try and fix and that led me into my service engineer job at Perkin Elmer and um, when I think back of kind of my career so far um, uh, naturally along the way I've had some kind of challenges due to my gender and, and working in a predominantly male um, dominated arena um, but you know what it kind of gave me that fire and drive to work harder to achieve more just to help break that stigma I had a few you know clarifying moments in my career to date where I was shocked that people still had these thoughts about what men and women should do I can't believe it I mean it's the millennium you know um, so I was uh, trying to send some parts back to our distribution centre. It was the first time I'd done it. I went to the courier depot, um, you know, filled in the right forms, took my ID, and the guy behind the desk at the end, uh, he said, well, this isn't just for members of the public. This is for engineers. And I was like, I am an engineer. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm meant to be doing this process. What, what do you mean? And he said, you don't look like an engineer. And I could not believe it. And I, I challenged him. I was like, what does an engineer look like then? Because, um, you know, I've got my Perkin Elmer shirt. I've got my ID. I've got my tools. Um, so what do you mean? And he kind of fumbled. And, and he didn't mean to say what he had said. But he was kind of showing this unconscious bias that he clearly had. Um, so, you know, I've had a few occasions like that. And I think it's just important to politely challenge or call out any behaviours that might be, um, you know, some kind of bias or prejudice um, and really just follow your passion. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something and if someone tells you you can't, work twice as hard to prove them wrong and um, just do what you want to do in the thing that you love and you will definitely be successful.